have a notebook, grab a pen Do your homework and tell a friend Know all the answers and buzz them in Who knows it better, you or them It's the cooking classroom, now let's begin Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis Javier, I'm feeling a student win today. It's in the air. Look at that audience out there. What's up, teachers? Good to see you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling the cheers from here. You guys are making my heart feel good right now. It's the students ready to rock on my right and our teachers on my left saying, let's do this. From Kensington High School for Creative and Performing Arts in North Philadelphia. Hey, they're officially on the classroom now where students and teachers today are both getting graded. Look, I, I already know I'm gonna say this is gonna be huge. What's up out there? It's good to see the audience. It's $500 is on the line, and they're here to see who wins it. I have the contestants ready. Buzzers are in hand. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. All right, students, teachers, get ready. You're on my clock now, and this pop quiz starts right now. What is the main organ in the human respiratory system capable of inflating and deflating while breathing? Mrs. Furtick. The lungs. The lungs is right. Experiment 626 is also known as what Disney character? Oh, Mr. Cottingham. Stitch. Stitch, big Lilo and Stitch fan, you were quick. What political leader gave the famous speech which condemned the Soviet Union's policies in Europe saying that an iron curtain has descended across the continent? <laughs> Tough question here, looking for Winston Churchill was the right one. What is the term for the movement of animals from one region to another in order to feed or breed? Ms. McCourt. Migration. Migration is right. Students, let's get you guys on with extra credit right here. This one's worth double, 20 points on the line. In poetry, what is the term for the repetition of the same or similar sounds and words found at the end of verse lines? <laughs> the answer was rhyme or rhyming words. What Pennsylvania city is the main setting in the TV show, The Office? Miss McCourt. Scranton. One of my favorites, the paper company. <laughs> what two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Mississippi? Javier. MS. MS is right. And how about it, students? You're officially on the board. Way to go. The Bachelor star and former football player Colton Underwood dated what Olympic gold medalist gymnast from 2016 to 2017? Sean Johnson. Incorrect, Stevens for the steal. You got a free guess here. Go with the gym. Oh, Couldn't get it in there. Allie Raisman was the right answer. I mean, they fell in love there for a second. How about a pop quiz is over? We got 40 points on the board for my teachers to the left. Students, we got 10 points for you guys, and I'm loving that trash talk, Ibrahim, so keep it going all so long. Hey, we're off to a great start today on the show. We have the students and teachers from Kensington Kappa in North Philly, home of the Tigers. I've been there myself. This school is phenomenal. Great people, great students. What do you say we meet some? Hello, my name is Ibrahim. I'm a 12th grader, and I love acting and music. I'm Hannah. I'm in 10th grade, and I play the ukulele. Hi, my name is Javier. I go to Kansas Kappa. I love to sing and yeah, 12th grader. Hello, my name is Mr. Cottingham. I teach theater at Kansas Kappa and we are so excited to be here today. Hi, I'm Miss McCourt. I teach English language development at Kensington Kappa and we are ready to win. Hi, my name is Miss Vertek. I teach band and computer science at Kensington Kappa and I'm looking forward to making a donation in Musicopia today. Okay. I got a treat and I've got to share it here with you guys. Check it out. This Kappa School is known for a lot of arts and doing some amazing things. Javier, you said you're really into the arts and doing all that jazz. You uh, got to hit me with a little chorus right now. Come on. Uh, alrighty. Um, <clears throat> you must think that I'm stupid. Come on. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Woo. The audience at home is like, that guy can sing. Man, you gonna go for a career in this someday? 
No, I'm going for like a mechanic for airplanes. Well, I'll tell you what, if that doesn't work out, I'm telling you, your <laughs> career in singing could, man. I'll tell you what, that singing, it sounds perfect in the hallway. Hopefully those teachers can keep up, but if not, they might end up in detention. Put your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, while you were watching that animation, I was listening to these two teams strategize whether they play pass first, who they're sending to detention first. I know everybody wants to win this thing. A lot of money on the line. So we're going to get right into it with our trailing team. Students, here's your category, pass or play on government. Uh, you can talk about it. Pass, 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 pass. pass. <laughs> pass. Hard pass. We're going to pass. Okay. Not loving government. Good luck, guys. According to the U.S. Constitution, oh, Supreme God. Court justices are appointed to serve for how long? Oh. Serve for life. Serve for life. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it's, I think so. Okay. It's for life. Okay. okay. For life? Absolutely. They're there till they tell them to go. That's a lifelong student. That's a tough pass for you guys. That's going to come back to haunt you. Teachers, who are you sending in detention? Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ibrahim? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ibrahim? <laughs> Definitely Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Oh, man, they were after you. Yeah, we're going to go back to the teachers. Here we go, guys. Your category's math. Uh, do you want math? You're so the math teacher. Pass. I think it's just pass. You're math teacher. I'll just pass it. Make it. We're going to pass. <laughs> We're going to pass. Here we go. Hannah Javier. Good luck here. On a coordinate plane, what is the term for the point where a line crosses the y-axis? You can talk about it. I don't want to be wrong. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. The y-intercept. Yeah, girl, you're not wrong. What do you mean? I'm just going to say this right now. Hannah, you came on the show today. I am so proud of you proud because of you. you are so nervous right now. You're like, I've never been on TV, and you got it right right there. That must feel good, right? Yeah. Heart feels good. That's exactly what it should feel like. All right. How do you say one of these teachers is going to detention? Who's it going to be? Furtek. Okay. This is Furtek. Students, the category goes back to you guys, and you are in control. How do you feel about Viral trends. Oh, uh, yeah, we can take that. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. The very spicy Carolina Reaper Madness Chip is eaten by people in what three-word three word viral trend? I think I know it. Go ahead, answer. Hot pepper challenge. The one chip challenge. Oh the God. one chip challenge. Couldn't get that one uh, done. Yeah, Hannah yeah. Javier, now the teachers could be saying who's going to detention. Who's it going to be? Javier. Javier! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah is trying to self evict right now. Our category is sports. Mm. Pass or play? Right. We're going to pass. <laughs> Hannah, you can do this. I believe in you. Here's your question. Ready? In what division do the Philadelphia Eagles play? You division. What division? I feel stupid right now. Football? Is that what I'm supposed to say? I that was know. a close guess. And honestly, if I was guessing, it would be the same thing. The football division. We were looking for the NFC East, but you were pretty close. I'll tell you what. I hate to do this to you. Now you can go to detention. Thank God. Mr. Vertek, you are out of there. Hey, I hope you guys are having fun. I know I sure am. Well, found your crowns and put your thinking cap on because some of the contestants will be hitting the easel in our class when we come back. Today, I'm so happy they're here because I just visited them the other week. 
It's Kensington High School for Creative and Performing Arts in North Philadelphia. Look, I got Ace to the left of me. How are things at your school? Tell me why it's so incredible at Kappa. Honestly, our school is really amazing, and the opportunity to be here right now is, like, mind-blowing. Let's go, and everyone's having a good time. I hope you guys are enjoying the show, too. I'll tell you what, do you like art? Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, you're not playing right now, but you can put all your energy into Hannah, because that's where we're going yeah, next. Yeah, Hannah, you got this. <laughs> Okay, here's how this game works. Each team selected one player to draw. I got hand to the left of me ready to go. She's going to select a card with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside. They're going to have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have ten seconds to talk and make one correct guess. I believe in you guys. I know you can do it. Get it right, it's going to be 30 points. If your team guesses incorrectly, I'll give you a couple more chances, but the points will decrease. Now, Hannah, what card, red or blue? Blue. We're going to take the blue card. You stand back here. I'm going right. to give you a second. Open oh, it up. Oh, thank God. We've got to open it up. What the heck? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is this one of those thingies you, things? I'll tell you what. Yep. It's those thingy yep. thingies? Okay. She's got it. She okay. has it. Good thing you guys couldn't see it through the whiteboard. Are you ready? No. You're going to have five seconds to draw as quick as you can, Hannah. You can do this. Good luck. Starts right now. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay, stop right there. That's You're doing so well. Bad. You're doing a good that job. Is, they might be able to get this from that's here. That's so bad. Javier, hair, Ibrahim. What are we looking at there? Um, you can talk about it. One um, guess. Ten seconds. No. no, no I'm sorry. Oh my God. You're gonna stand right there. We're gonna put you in timeout. That's it. One guess, guys. Um, flower. Flower. We're gonna change this back around. Here we go. You can add on or you can you can add on or start a whole new picture. Here we go. Second round. Go ahead. So she's going to another picture, guys. Okay. Oh my God. Stay That's right even there. Worse than the last one. <laughs> Here we go. What are we looking at? <laughs> this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Is is it a dog? It's not a dog. We are going to go back one more time here. You're going to have 10 seconds to finish this up okay. here. All right, draw away. Here we go. 10 seconds starts right now. Heard a lot of good guesses in there. I like you guys are still trying to figure it out, talking through it over here. Ooh, that could be it. Hannah, I'm loving what you're doing right now. Okay, stop right there. Guys, what are we looking at? A, um, a man, man walking his dog. <laughs> Is that the guess? Let's go with that. A man walking his dog couldn't get it done. I gotta tell you, this was really well. It's a corsage. That was Everything his you arm. wear, and she's got the arm the with the flower on it. <laughs> Looking good. Hey, I'll tell you what, Hannah. You try your best. That was excellent work. We're gonna switch it up. Give her a big round of applause. You're gonna go over there. We're gonna bring in Mr. Cottingham. And now we give you this card. You look at that for five seconds. Teachers, you're up. Now look, you know the words are hard here. Grab a pen, five seconds starts right now. Here we go. That's a tough one. See how well they do. Wow, hold on right there. What are we seeing on this board? Uh, one guess from the teachers. It looks like a cat, but also an island. <laughs> on the top of here. What do you think? I think it's statue. Need a guess? A statue. Incorrect, we go back here. Mr. C, five seconds, go ahead. Here we go. Can the teachers add on in points here? This is a tough, all right, stole. Wow. Right there, 10 seconds. Is he taking a selfie? That's what I think. Answer. A selfie? Incorrect, we go back. Javier, Javier, go ahead, 10 seconds to finish it up. Javier, I'm loving that you want to play this game right now. He's feeling like he's got it. Oh, wow. All right, Mr. C, I'm liking the art class out of you right here. All right, hold on. He took the full 10. What is it, guys? Oh. No, no, wait a second. A sailor? It's the Statue of Liberty! We got boats, we got the city. Hey, Mr. Cottingham, not for a lack of trying there. That was excellent, my man. Hey, before we go to break, I got to give one of these two teams points. Who wants extra credit? <laughs> I'm going to ask one extra credit question today. Both teams will have 60 seconds during the commercial to break down their answer, get it corrected. This will be 10 points. Here we go, guys. Good luck. Geographically, what is the smallest country in the world? 
It's a tough question today. How well are they going to do? We'll come back after the break, and I'm going to give you the answers. We'll see you then. the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Kensington Kappa in North Philly. We're having a great time on the show today. Teachers in the lead 80 points, but the students, I'm telling you, they're a second half team and they're about to go for the win. They can start right now a little bit of extra credit. Here was the question. Geographically, what is the smallest country in the world? Students, we're going to start with you. Ibrahim, you said... Uh, Greece. <laughs> Incorrect, but that was a good guess. Teachers, you said? The Vatican. The Vatican what? is right. That gets you guys to 90. Greece was good, though. I'll tell you what. We're off to a good start here. We're in the middle of the show. Students, you got $500. There's nothing better than getting a big old check here on the show. I want to give it to you. If you win, where's that going to go? Scholarship funds. Oh, nice, man. That would go a long way for a lot of students, so Definitely. hopefully you can win that thing. And teachers, if you win it, where's it going to go? Musicopia. Musicopia? Yes. I have no idea what that is, but that sounds so fun, and they could use that money. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad you're using it to music class. That's exactly where we're going right now. All right, grab your buzzers. Today's music class is testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song. Then Fox 29 news anchor Shayna Humphreys will read a small portion of those lyrics. The first person to buzz in and correctly answer my question is going to win 10 points for their team. You buzz in, get it incorrect. The other side can still buzz in and steal. Hands on buzzers, three sets of lyrics. Here we go with this question. What performer co-wrote and sings these lyrics in a 2018 song? Shayna Humphreys, welcome to the show. Hey Richard, here's your first one. One in the hand, one in the bag, bubbling. Look at you go, look at that cash, look at the cash, bubbling. Okay, you bubbling. <laughs> you bubbling, but nobody's bubbling up. Uh, answer here, Ibrahim got in under the belt. Mm, uh, I'm gonna say me goes. Incorrect, but I like the guess. Teachers, do you want to try to steal that? Otherwise, we move on. Anderson Pack is bubbling right there. Couldn't get it done, guys. Shayna, that was excellent. And I'm willing to give you another shot at the title here. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2019 song? Shayna, this could be right up your alley. And here's number two. We'd always go into it blindly. I needed to lose you to find me. This dancing was killing me softly. I needed to hate you to love me. Yeah. Hannah. Oh my God, it's Selena Gomez. It's, I think it's like, hate you to yeah, love Yeah, that's me. it. You got it right. <laughs> you were trying to tell me the whole life story. You good? Okay, Hannah. A lot of Team Hannah members right now, and I'm on board with that. Okay, guys, question three. Shayna, this is the question. What band sings these lyrics in a song that hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2010? Shayna Humphreys, bring it home for the crew. All right, final one. Here we go. Hey, soul sister. Ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio? Stereo? The way you move ain't fair, you know. First one in Ibrahim. Maroon 5, so it's just... That's no, oh, no, no, five. couldn't no. get it done. Teachers for the steal. Train. Buzzing if you know it. Miss McCourt. Train. T-Rain, that's right. Yes, yeah, Train. <laughs> <laughs> Students are going bananas on the right side of me. They knew it, but a big thanks to Shayna Humphreys for that. I am loving this game right now. We've got teachers to 100. Students, you're within 100, so that's huge because you're going to have a chance to win this thing right now in final exam. Here's the topic, it's Family Matters. We have three questions today, each are worth 100 points. They'll answer during the commercial break. Here's question one. How were Presidents Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Theodore Roosevelt related? That's question one. Question two, Steph, Lena, Mariana, Callie, and Jude are part of a blended family on what freeform show that aired for five seasons? Finally, Family Matters. What is the name of the grid that is drawn to show the possible combination of genes a child will have based on the two parents? 60 seconds is about to start. Will it be our students making a comeback or will the teachers 
stay in the lead, and win this thing. Take that 500 back to Kappa. You're gonna have to come back to find out. And when you do, we crown a champion of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Kensington High School in the Creative Performing Arts. We're jumping right into the final exam where the topic is Family Matters. Here's question one, let's do it. How were Presidents Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Theodore Roosevelt related? Students, we're gonna start with you, Javier. Don't know the answer, but I'm gonna guess uh, past relatives. Well, that was pretty close. That was a great answer, but not correct. I enjoyed the past relatives though. Teachers, you said? Cousins. Which are past relatives, absolutely. Yeah. So they get a right to 200. We move to question two, here we go. Steph, Lena, Mari Mariana, Callie, Jude are all part of a blended family on what Freeform show that aired for five seasons. Teachers, if you get it right, $500 goes home with you today. If not, students, get ready to answer. You said? The Fosters. Fosters right, they win the game. Teachers, $500 richer. Hey, what is the name of the grid that has drawn to show possible combination of genes and children? The Punnett Square. This big check is going back to the teachers, but Kappa, you guys are all winners today. We'll see you next time in the classroom. Javier, great game, man.